Hello, Rosecrans. We are back with a fifth episode of This A Christmas Carol, one where Scrooge may just confront his future. Come, Ebenezer, there is much more to see. Men who keep Christmas in their hearts. Come. Come. Much they saw, and far they went, and many homes they visited, but always with a happy end. The spirits stood beside sick beds, and they were cheerful, on foreign lands, and they were close at home, by poverty, and it was rich, in almshouse, hospital, and jail, in misery's every refuge, the spirit of Christmas left her blessing, and taught Scrooge as she went. Presently, they returned to the streets of London for the spirit's final lesson, but the spirit had aged. My life upon this globe is very brief. My time with you, Ebenezer, is almost done. Have you gained by what I have shown you of the good in most men's I, hearts? I, I don't know. How can I promise? Perhaps I'm too old to change. If it is too hard a lesson to learn, then look upon these. Look here upon the street. What? Two frightful, hideous, miserable children. Yellow, meager, scowling. Spirit, are they... are they yours? They are man's. This boy is ignorance. This girl is want. Beware them both and all of their degree. But, most of all, beware this boy, for on his brow I see that written which is doom, unless the writing be erased. Without the spirit of Christmas to comfort them, narrow puritism and greed would release these wretched beings upon the world. But spirit, have they no refuge or resource? <sighs> Are there no workhouses? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? And with that, the ghost of Christmas present dissolved into the mist, and Scrooge stood alone upon the street. As the last stroke of midnight rang, Scrooge remembered the prediction of old Jacob Marley, and lifting his eyes, he beheld the third spirit, a solemn phantom shrouded in black, draped and hooded, coming like a mist along the ground towards him. Am, am I in the a presence of the ghost of Christmas yet to come? You are about to show me shadows of the things that have not yet happened, but what will happen? Spirit, will you not speak to me? Oh, ghost of the future, I fear you more than any specter I've seen, but as I know your purpose is to do me good, and as I hope to live to be another man from what I was, lead on. The night is waning fast, and it is precious time to me. Lead on. Spirit, once more we are here at the home of Bob Cratchit, but it is different, so quiet. What is it, Spirit? What kind of Christmas day is this? <laughs> and he took a child and set him in the midst of them. None but those who are as humble as little as little children shall enter into heaven. Whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Stop, Peter. Stop reading. Oh, my son. My son, Tiny Tim. <laughs> Mother, please don't cry. Father will be home soon. Don't let him know you've been crying. He's late tonight, Martha. When he had Tiny Tim on his shoulder, he would walk very fast. Very fast indeed. But 
The child was light to carry, and father loved him so. It was no trouble, no trouble at all. <laughs> Here's father now. Sorry I'm late, mother. I wish you could have gone. It would have done you good to see how green a place it is. But you'll see it often. I promise. I <laughs> promised, Tim, that we'd walk there <laughs> on Sundays. Oh, Bob. Little child. My little, little child. Oh, that's cruel, Spectre. Can't you give me some ray of hope? That I may change all this, that Tiny Tim may live? Spirit, where are we now? Merciful heaven! A dismal, ruinous churchyard. Desolate, lonely, crumbling graves. Is poor Tiny Tim buried here? Tell me, Spirit, are these the shadows of things that will be? Or are they the shadows of things that may be only? Spirit, that tombstone to which you point, what is written upon it? Wait, the name on the grave is Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge, no! No, Spirit, why show me this if I am past all hope? Am I to become like Jacob Marley, like the other cursed ghosts? Chained, wandering the earth forever? No! No! Spirit, hear me. I am not the man I was. Tell me that I may change these dreadful shadows. I'll, I'll honor Christmas in my heart. I'll try and keep it all the year. I'll live it in the past, the present, and the future, and not shut out the lessons they teach. I pray, please, Spirit, that I may sponge away the writing on the stone. I beg you. I'll change. I'll change. I pray. I pray. I'll change. I'll change. I pray. I pray. I'll change. I'll change. Please. Please. I'll change. Folks, we just watched a potential change of heart. Were these spirits three enough to right Scrooge's wrongs? Stay tuned to find out.